I tried different camera apps for shooting videos with my Android device and I came up with two overall best, that's Filmic Pro and Open Camera. Filmic Pro is actually the best paid camera app for shooting with your phone. It is compatible with so many smartphone camera accessories out there. Why Oppo Camera is the best free mobile camera app that allows you to shoot videos without watermark, no limitation or any restriction. I am Corey Day from Promise Studios and today I'm going to be taking you through all the settings that you need to change in that Oppo Camera app before you start shooting for you to get that perfect shot that you aim for. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is to switch to video mode. Since basically that is what we are doing with the app. So it has me allow camera to record yeah, which I will allow. So we are in the video mode. I'll quickly go to my settings. Then under the settings, I'll scroll quickly down to my camera API. And I want to make sure that my camera to API is selected. This gives me more advanced features to work with. With the other option, I will not have there will be some limitations of using the phone. So um, then I'll go back to my settings. Then the first thing we want to do is um, more camera control. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything here that we need to change. Let's leave everything here as default. So then we'll go back. Then I'll go to my camera preview. Now under this camera preview, there are a few things that I want us to change. One of them is that show zoom. Uh, we don't want to, okay, now we don't want a situation by we will have to be zooming with our app like this because this does not actually give us a good production. Rather, it's this is a digital zoom. If for adventure there's any reason why you should do this, I think you should better do it in editing than zooming doing your um, doing your recording because this actually reduces the quality of your video. This is what we call digital zoom. It's not like the normal zoom that you have in DSLR camera. So I will actually remove this because I don't want anything that will make me to zoom from there. So go to camera preview. Under the zoom, I will hide that. So that slider will no longer be there. So let's see what else we need to show here. Show battery, those ones should be there. Everything is okay. Okay. Um, yeah, show audio level meter. So I'll make it to be on. So what this does is that as I'm recording, I will have to be seeing my audio that is this. During recording, you can see that there's something that is moving here. This shows that I am actually, um, that my audio is working. So I think this can help you to give you a gauge to know when you have sound coming into your phone or not. So the higher it is, the more you raise your volume, the more um, the, 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 the louder the voice is, the more this thing will be moving. So that, let me go back to my setting. So, so um, is there another thing that we need to activate here? I think that's all. Uh, okay, show grid. I will need this also. This helps us in framing the 3x3 three three grid. So let's see what that does. Now you can see. Now you can see these lines that are here now. This kind of guide us. So when we are kind of want to frame our subject, we kind of know where to place it. Like now I can put my subject in the center, or I put it with the what we call rule of third, the one side of it, or the or another rule of third. So that's what that grid does. So the next thing is on screen G GUI. So under this on screen GUI, the few things I want us to change here is that I want to show my auto white balance lock icon. I need this because I want to be locking it. And the uh, show zoom slider control. I'm going to remove this one. That same thing like that. I don't want anything that will make me to zoom. So take photo and uh, this one can be there. Keep display on. Okay, I think we are good there. So let's go to video settings. Um, under the video settings, I'll put my video to full HD resolution, this thing, it will. Now, mind you, you have options of using maybe higher frame rate and uh, frame, uh, other higher frame rate, rate and resolutions. Now, if I, because I have these options now, this, if I say I select this particular option and um, 
I recall. Let me show us what will happen. I'm recording. It has stopped recording. Unknown error. Video altered. So that's what when you try to use your phone more than what it can do. So to know the highest resolution that your phone can use, you can just open your phone camera app. If you open your phone in view camera app, if you go to the video settings and if you go to the um, if you go to the video tab, tab click on your settings and you can now see video quality under, under your video quality the highest that this phone can record is 720p so this shows that this phone can the highest quality it can record with this phone is 720p so if i go back to my open camera and i come to my video my video settings i can the highest that I should do here is this full HD 1080p this full HD with this full HD let's see if my phone is able to handle it so obviously my phone is able to handle it because at least it's still it's recording and it's still recording and it's still recording it has recorded up to 10 seconds that means it's able to handle that so if you're using a smaller Android device that the cameras are not built for filmmaking, so most of them, the highest you can be able to go is this full HD entity. But if in your native camera app, you have higher options that is higher than 1080, that means your phone can actually record up to 1080. So I will leave that as full HD 1080. Video format. In the video format option, I will use the MPEG 4 H264. This is like a very common Codec that we normally use for video. Maximum duration you make sure that is on is on unlimited. Then restart. As long as it's on unlimited, there's no need of restarting. Maximum video size too. Let's just leave it at default so that there's nothing that then you can just leave the restart on maximum file size. So another thing that you will want to keep on is the record audio. Make sure that your record audio is turned on. The audio source. I want my audio source to be on external mic if present. So anytime I connect a microphone to my phone, my phone will work. Fix the this app picks audio from that. And when it's not there, it picks from the inbuilt memory. So I'll go to audio channel. I'll leave it at default. Then lock screen when recording. That can just be left like that. Then video bitrate. Um, this video bitrate now what it does is that the higher the bitrate, the better the quality of your video, and also the more space you consume on your device. So depending on how much space you have and the type of phone you are using, you might want to go very high. But most times I use 50 megabytes per seconds. Even some people can still use some people still use 20 megabytes per seconds, and you still get a good video out of it but because of storage space and um, on a, because of the capacity of this phone i will leave it at 50 megabytes per second so if you have a better phone that has a better quality and you have more storage space you can use as high as possible but just make sure that your phone is able to handle it because sometimes if you set that bitrate and then you record and you see that your phone is not handling it it's stopping it's halting like we saw earlier if you just come and uh, reduce it then the frame rate this how many pictures that you make one second of video so depending on the country you are some countries use 25 why some use 30 in my case i'm going to be using 25 this is the normal playback for our tvs some countries use 30 fps so you might you might want to check for your country and then uh, know which particular one so that's that for that so let's every other thing can just be left like that so is there another thing that i've left behind so i think that's everything that you might want to change so let's record and see what happens now so you can see the settings that are there so okay that means my phone is being able to record this very well so the cassette of the person that is able to undo the settings i have given to you now, if you take note of the left up 
uh, uh, corner of it, you see the time and the storage space left in your phone. The green bar there is your battery mail and the ISO that your phone is shooting at. So my space left in this phone is 6.4 gig. So you need to keep an eye there. So if you are going less than 2 gig, 1 gig, you might need to just stop filming and upload the video files to maybe another device or you copy to a, a an external storage. Maybe if you have a flash drive that has a OTG, you can use it to copy out the files from your phone or use your Zender to send it to another phone so that you can free up space from the from your phone and continue your filming. So, but before we can start filming, there's another, there are other things then that we need to take note of. Let's start from this right hand side. In this upright corner here, this is where you can get your files that you have recorded. The next button down there is where to switch your cameras. If you have more than one camera in your phone, this button will actually switch it. And if it's just your front and your back camera, you know, pressing it will switch from your front camera to your back camera. Then this other big camera icon here is to start recording. If I click on it, I will start videoing and uh, you can see it has turned to red. That means it is actually recording. Click on it again. Then under it, you see this other one is the photo camera icon. So if I switch now, I've switched to photo mode. If I click here, I've, I've snapped a picture like that. So let me go back to the video mode. So now on the right hand side, the first button here is the settings button. So now under it is other options that you can quickly switch. Starting from whether to on your, um, your camera flash or to off it. So now my camera flash is on, you might not be able to see the video is bright already. So and then to off it. Then the second option down it is our focus. I will just like to put my focus on this MF mana focus because most of the time you cannot really trust your phone's auto focus except you are very sure that the auto focus is very good. So just leave it at mana focus so you can be focusing by yourself. Under here is your video resolution. If you want to quickly change your video resolution, this is where you do that. That one is the aperture. You might just want to, if your phone has the option of changing your aperture. So you might just want to leave it at the lowest option that is available, that's 1.8. Then the white balance, you might select the white balance. I would say you just leave it at auto, and when you get it right, you lock it. So in this option now, mainly what you need to change is to probably change your focus to MF, that's manual, that's manual focus. Then everything can just be left the way they are. Except we want to change your video resolution from here, which we've already changed from our setting. Then if you come to this second option, this one is talking about our exposure. So we might just leave it at auto exposure. So if your exposure is at auto, you can just use the plus button here to either reduce it or increase it. So the next thing we will do, maybe I've gotten my exposure to where I want it to be. I will lock it. So you see the second button here is to lock exposure. That means exposure is locked. So, so no matter where I move to, my exposure will no longer change as I'm moving up and down. So that's that. So the next thing I will need to also lock is my white balance. So I will lock my white balance. So what this is so that my, the color of the video will not be changing as I'm recording. So everything is locked. I cannot set my focus. So my focus, maybe I got it right. Okay, maybe somewhere here I can see that it's sharp. Then I can now start recording. So I can, so I can see that my focus is right here. So, so even doing recording, you can still be changing the the focus. So in case you feel that like you need to make it brighter, I can just look on the plus sign. You can see that your picture is getting brighter and uh, it's getting darker as we click on the minus, the minus button. So one more setting that you would like to change is this artificial sharpness that you are seeing in the video. If you look very closely, you look at the video looks sharper than what it's supposed to be. This is an 
artificial sharpness at home manufacturers usually add to their camera so you need to put this off so your phone looks normal to the eyes if you come to the settings go to processing processing settings edge mode algorithm then you need to put that off so what it does is your video looks normal this is how a normal digital camera video looks like so with that now you, you somebody will not see your video and quickly understand that it was shot with a mobile device or a smartphone now that you have seen all the settings that you need to change before you start rolling i would also like to teach you how to edit videos with your phone but not in this video watch this one instead this is another one that i would recommend that you should watch as well thanks for watching to the end please like this video subscribe to this channel if you're into mobile filmmaking or you want to learn how to shoot and edit videos with your phone also share this video with someone that's all for today I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.